Flow Squad. Welcome back to my kitchen. It is what hump day. Now, since we're changing the way we eating, yes, I'm a little slow with the recipes, but they are coming. I love a good fried potato. But guess what? Potatoes and starch and all that carbs. I think it's a carb. Don't quote me. I don't know, but I know it's a starch. Well, I want a fried potato, but I'm going to take a sweet potato. And I'm going to make what? Sweet potato hash my way in my kitchen. I believe you guys are going to love this recipe. Are you ready to cook? Let's go cook. Okay, guys, we're back. If we're making sweet potato hash, we need what? Sweet potatoes. Now, look at these. Remember, we want cooking easy. Not hard. Y'all know it's hard to cut some sweet potatoes. Been there, done that. I got mine pre-cut. And you can do the same. Rinse them. Good to go. Make the meal quick, fast, and easy. And not trying to cut sweet potatoes. That is the hardest thing in the world to cut. Now, I got some oil. Okay, one of my good subscribers told me, olive oil. Stop using it. Get you some avocado oil. Get you some grape seed oil. So, I have a little bit of vegetable oil in here that I'm using today until I get those oils. Thank you, Soul Squad. Remember, if you got any advice for me, far as like what to do when it comes to the changing of my cooking and my eating habits, please let me know. I am open for all suggestions. Red onions. I am not an onion person. I just took one onion. It's not even a whole onion. I slice down just one slice and cut it. I, I, but you know, if you like onions, do as many as you want. And you don't have to do red. Let me turn my stove down to low. On low. You don't have to do red. You can do whatever color. Um, yellow. Um, sweet. I like the red because it's sweet. And the um, sweet potatoes are sweet natural flavors. Um, we do some orange peppers. You can use green. I'm not going to use too many of those because what I want to do is that even though these are not <laughs> my favorite vegetables, and it should be, it brings flavor to the food that you're cooking. And so I make mine kind of big so that I can actually pick them out. I'm sorry. You know, the family's not going to pick them out because they love the vegetables and all that stuff. And again, it, again, so much, so much flavor to what you're cooking. Now to this, again, we add in the peppers. You can add green, red, yellow, whatever. So let's get these all cut up. And I didn't get my spoon. And we're going to let that cook. And to that, remember, it's going to be a hash. And I want to add some type of meat. The meat is optional. But this is a turkey polar sausage. Remember, I'm really trying to stay away from that beef. So, or you can get chicken sausages. But I'm using what I have in the house. And you can put as little or as much to this. I'm adding that to the veggies. The vegetables smell good already cooking by themselves. As much sausage as you want. For your family, just because I want to get a crisp on the sausages, you can make them as big, as little, as small as you want. I want to use one half because it's almost like a treat. You know, you're not going to get a sausage for every bite, but you'll get that surprise when you're eating. Like, oh, I got a piece of meat. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm adding some sausage. You think I should put some more sausage in there? Okay, that's good. So we're going to let this cook up. Let my sausage get. I'm not getting my wooden spoon. Let everything get so translucent. Translucent. I said that so wrong. You know I said that wrong, right? But we're going to let everything get soft with the onions and the peppers. And we're going to let the sausage get a crisp on them. Then we're going to come back and add our sweet potatoes. And I'm about to turn this from low to a medium. Because I wanted to cook. You guys are going to love this. I can't wait. Okay, guys, take a look at my sausage. 
I know people like it with this side. Well, I want it to crisp on the right. And guys, this is about two tablespoons of vegetable oil I put in here. My um, sweet potatoes have been washed and plucked and cleaned and everything else I need to be doing. And you're not going to cook these until they're smushy. You're going to just cook them until they what? They have like fork, a fork tender. Now, I can't tell you how long that's going to be. But you're going to cook it all up together. And for my flavor, I'm going in with some smoked paprika. You can use whatever you want. But the natural sweetness of the sweet potato and the sweetness of the red onion and then the flavor of the um, pepper is going to give you all the flavor that you want. Now, if you want, you can go in with some garlic pepper, onion pepper. But I don't think it needs all that. Because all those natural sweetness is going to pop out for this dish. And so I want this to cook like it's a potato. And I want it to get crispy on the edges. And I'm going to let it cook to full tender. Yeah, guys. Have us some sweet potato hash. I'm going to say maybe 15 minutes or so. But I'm going to watch it. And we're going to let it cook until it's full tender. Looks amazing. How it smells good. And it's healthy for you. Who do who don't want more than that? Okay, guys, I did put a top on this, and I want to check it. And this is cooking like on a high, because I don't want to saute it. I want to fry it. Look at that. Mmm, and it smells good, y'all. I'll give this a couple more minutes, because, look, it's looking good. It's looking done. Let me see this. Actually, look at that. That went right in there. I'm going to give this a few more seconds, and we're going to take this out. This is ready. Cooked on high. You want those sweet potatoes to be fork tender, but not smushy. I'm going to give this about five more minutes, and this is ready. This is where you want it. Not overly cooked, but just a bite. Ooh, I can't wait. Two. All right, guys, I'm back. Look at my hatch. Look at the caramelized onions, the nice crispy sausages, turkey sausages. Everything came together. Wonderful. Now, this is for me, and this is optional. And I don't want to want to lower it in there like that. I'm placing the egg on top of mine. Just because I can. And I want to. It's going to taste so delicious. So, yeah, fried egg. And you can serve this without eggs. You can do your favorite egg, scrambled egg. I mean, it's up to you. But I will be topping this with a. Oh my God. I love the yolk egg. <laughs> Somebody said, oh my God, I don't like yolk. I love the yolk egg. Let's put some, oh, I dropped my plate off. And let's get some of this hash on here. Remember, even when you're eating good or eating healthy, it's, still, it's all about portion size. So, yeah, so this is actually my plate for me. Get some of the sausages up in there. This is my breakfast. And this is for me. And you know what I'm gonna do? A little bit more. I don't. I'm gonna to top it with that fried egg, honey. You can't tell me nothing, okay? You can't tell me nothing. That's how I'm going for it. My sweet potato hash topped with my egg. The way I like it, you talk it with your way, the way you like it. But this is breakfast for me. This is what I'm eating for breakfast. That is what everybody eats for breakfast. I'm not sure what they want to do. But I know for sure what I want to do. And what I'm eating. Turn the stove down. And if you have fresh parsley, go for it. But this is all about taking a photo, taking a thumbnail, making it look gorgeous. Yes, y'all. Look at that. That look wonderful. Sweet potato hash, top of the egg. You can't get more better than that. Ooh, let me taste one of these sweet potatoes. Mm, mm, mm. 
That is good. Oh, I can't wait to dig into the until next time, guys. Mm. Who needs a fried potato? That is gorgeous. That tastes amazing. Hopefully, you guys can make this for your family. They're about to take this up. The sweetness of the sweetness and the natural sweetness come out. The flavor of the um, I guess the paprika. <laughs> The flavor of the onion and the peppers is amazing. And wait till I crack the egg on top. I'm in sweet potato hash heaven. Like, share, subscribe. Get this video up to 20,000 likes. I know we can do it. I'm coming back, guys. I'm coming back. And you're going to like what you see.